In this lecture, we're going to implement Google Fonts into our Tailwind project. So if we head on over to fonts.google.com and we're going to select the quicksand font. So let's go ahead and do a search for quicksand. Let's select the quicksand font family and let's scroll down and let's just go ahead and select all of these font variations. So from the thin to the bold and then in the right hand pane here, we can then see we've got quicksand selected and all of these font variations selected. So we want to go ahead and use the import statement to import our Google font. And let's go ahead and copy the import statement without copying the style tag. So we just want to copy this import statement here. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. Then I'm going to head on over back to my code and in our input.css above the Tailwind directives, we just want to paste our import at the top. So we're going to import our quicksand font family into our input.css. So let's go ahead and save this. And to be able to apply this quicksand font to our entire Tailwind app, then we can go ahead and create our first custom base style. So to do this, we want to use the layer directive and we want to target the base layer. So then we want to target the HTML tag and we want to set the font family on the HTML tag to quick sand comma sans dash serif. Now let's go back to our Google fonts and make sure if we scroll down below the import statement, then we can see here we've got this font family as well. So we could have easily just copied this font family style and pasted it in instead of typing it manually, pasted it in for our HTML tag. Now, the reason we want to add the style and the font family to the HTML tag within this base layer is again for the order of specificity within Tailwind. So remember, utilities can override both components and base styles and components can only override base styles. So that's the reason we want to group our styles in this way. And remember, base styles should only ever target HTML tags. Base styles, usually we don't want to target classes in the base styles. We just want to target HTML tags. And the HTML tag we want to target for our font family is the tag HTML. So if we go ahead and save this then, and we take a look back in our project in the browser and we give it a refresh. And there we go. You might have seen the subtle change there to our Google font. So in the next lecture, then we're going to continue building out our navigation and we're going to be adding our menu items as well as our sub menu item. So we'll take a look at that in the next lecture.